So now we have a question for you. What are you doing to keeping your to keep your vehicle safe in 2024? My, something you might want to think about over the last year, San Antonio police say they are seeing a 50% jump in car thefts. And that team's Avery Everett asked police and auto shops what you can do to protect your property. A sound that's loud and possibly preventative. It's more noise more chance of being spotted, so they want to avoid that. They want to get in, get out in under a minute. At Mother's Window Tint, out on the north side, Joe Calvi sells multiple car alarms a day, just like this. People want to prevent theft. And it's likely due to an increase in stolen vehicles. It's been going on for a very long time. Just one week ago, San Antonio Police Chief William McManus shared the city's 2023 crime statistics during a public safety committee meeting. Much of it he reported that San Antonio saw a 53% spike in car thefts. It's a big business, and and um, as far as I'm concerned, people need to be held accountable and they need to be held in jail. Across 2023, SAPD says Kias and Hyundais were the most common types of vehicles stolen. A breakdown of the city's top stolen vehicles by make and model is already available on KSAT.com. But SAPD says all drivers and car owners need to be on alert. If you see something suspicious, you see someone looking into cars and parking lots, call police. The top advice? Always take your valuables out of your vehicle. That all attracts criminals to your vehicle. So how else can you combat a crime of opportunity? Car locks and clubs are SAPD's recommendation. Hooks up to the horn and a siren as well. At Mother's Window Tint, Calvi says alarms are also an option. We want to make it hard, unattractive to take the vehicle, and alarms do that where the steering wheel locks do not. With such a rise in crime, it all needs protection these days. Calvi says prevention is the best way to stop criminals in their tracks. So we know it's an issue across the city, but you might be asking if any parts of town are more at risk. This map from the department shared with me shows hotspots for vehicle burglaries across the city. So the spread, as you can see, is pretty much everywhere. But there are some pockets downtown, on the west side, on the north side, and especially along I-10 on the northwest side. Thank you for watching KSAT. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with San Antonio's latest news and weather.